Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today we're doing a little field trip out to the Mississippi River. There's some tunnel inspection going on, and this only happens about every 10 years. So when they inspect this tunnel, they drop the level of the Mississippi River down enough to actually go into the tunnel from the outside. And this reveals a whole lot of interesting riverbed. You get to see a lot of old bedrock and river bottom and sandbars and all kinds of geology and things that are not usually exposed. You also get to see a lot of old trash and some newer trash, as well as old artifacts like bridge piers, electric cables, and remnants of old industry around Minneapolis. Minneapolis is known as the Mill City thanks to the many historic mills along the riverfront. These were all powered by water from the nearby St. Anthony Falls. Now they're only dropping a small section of the Mississippi River, and this is between the top two locks and dams on the river. The top lock is actually closed now to keep invasive carp out of the upper Mississippi, and the lower lock is only a few hundred feet below it. So while the lower lock is technically still in operation, there's not really any point to it anymore. Here's the tunnel that's being inspected. It drains water from the freeway, and it's dug through sandstone bedrock lined with cement. This looks like sandstone. Just, uh, yeah, raw sandstone bedrock. All kinds of eroded. Here's a little stream formed by runoff from another drain tunnel. A lot of flat stones. Yeah, it's definitely a layer of flowstone or limestone that's built up on the wall of one of the tunnels and then popped off. It's a fishing lure. There's some mooring bits up there for tying up barges. Nice big river clam. So I can't tell if these rocks here are the remains of Spirit Island. There is a lost island that used to be in the middle of the river here before they put in the lock and dam. And they blew it all up back in the 1800s. These stone reefs here could be the remnants of it. There's an ancient ruin, a shopping cart. Okay, now it's getting pretty bad. I think I'm gonna try a different route here. A shipwreck. This rare low water has been really popular, so people are just swarming the riverfront and parking wherever. Now yesterday, we were on the other side of the river, and this is what things looked like from my drone. You can see all of the sandbars here, which are normally underwater, and they're just swarming with people. Everybody was out enjoying the weather, looking for treasures, checking out things that they don't normally see along the riverfront and along the river bottom. And the Stone Arch Bridge, which is an old historic railroad bridge, was also a very popular vantage point for people. So there were quite a few crowds up there walking and biking and scootering and just checking out the views. There were also some whitewater kayakers trying out the newly formed rapids. There have been talks over the years of building some sort of a whitewater park through downtown Minneapolis here. So I actually did find one piece of treasure buried in the sand. I thought it was a knife at first, but it's actually a USB drive. I'm going to see if there's any way to bring this thing back and see what's on it. There's a ton of sand coming out of this thing. Ugh, just sand everywhere. The actual board is super corroded, so I'm going to try soaking this in some vinegar for a little bit to try to free up some of that corrosion. Well, there's definitely some science happening in this cup. I've picked out any little bits that look like they're in between wires, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. And I'm not going to use it on my real computer because you're never supposed to plug in a USB drive that you just find on the ground. Could be viruses on there, could be spyware. The whole thing could just be a giant capacitor set up to blow up your system. So you don't ever want to plug in strange technology. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use this laptop, which has a big cracked screen here. And I found this in a dumpster, so I don't care too much if I blow it up. Windows is recognizing it, at least for the moment. Oh, and I think it went over. Yep. It's only partly recognizing it. It's not very happy about it. So I'm trying to download the contents of this flash drive. Well, the transfer is super inconsistent, but it is trying to transfer. Well, it seems like I've killed that flash drive just by getting data off of it because it will no longer respond. It says it's unformatted and I can't even find anything on it with recovery software. But I was able to get a few files off of it before it completely died. It's photos and video from someone's canoe trip back in 2010. Okay, this is a movie of Lake Saganaga. So if anyone out there has an idea for how I could locate people based on 10-year-old license plates or a face and a first name, I'm all ears. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. I would love to get these photos back to whoever uh, lost the flash drive, just in case they don't have another copy of it somewhere. Other than that, uh, this was a really cool experience to see the river lowered like that. I had seen it again back in 2008, but I think they dropped it even lower this time. And a lot of those sandbars had shifted around, a lot of the river bottom had changed, and I got to see some new stuff, so it was really cool. They won't do this again for another 10 to 12 years, and when they do, I will try to get out there and see it again. Thanks for watching.